the angel of fire. There is a heavenly angel of fire called Truth Angel who teaches people. It is sent by the heavenly father El Shaddai and brought by Jesus, Yehoshua, to explain the teachings of Jesus. I am not that fire angel. Angel means messenger. I am a messenger. I am an earthly human messenger. I am sinful like all other humans, and I make mistakes. However, what I'm about to show you, I believe is accurate. Hebrews 1.7 says all angels are made of fire, and all angels are spirits. There are good ones and rebels. John the baptizer said he would baptize with water, and Jesus would baptize with spirit and fire. A spirit made of fire is a heavenly messenger, an angel. Only three angels in the New Testament have names, Michael and Gabriel, and the fire angel that Jesus will baptize people with. His name in Hebrew is Ruach Emeth, in Greek, Numa Aletheia, and in English, Truth Angel. Before he left the earth, Yeshua told his followers, John 16, 7, I tell you the truth, it's expedient to you that I go. For if I go not, the Parakletos, the fire angel teacher, will not come to you. But if I go, I will send it to you. In the first years of the church, Azazel, Satan, the god of this world, infiltrated the translators and eliminated the fire baptizing by Jesus and thus the truth angel teacher, the key to salvation. Look at the last lines of Mark to see how important the fire angel baptism is. Mark 16:16. 16, 16. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Now ask yourself, is Jesus talking about John's water baptism? Or his own fire baptism? Your salvation hinges upon receiving the baptism that Jesus gives. The fire spirit, the angel of the truth, this is why Satan infiltrated the translators to stop fire baptism and lock the door to salvation. Fire angel baptism is the key to salvation. Some translators have tried to make the Paracletos the Paraclete into God. But the Paracletos is not God. I can prove that the Paracletos is not God, but an angel. The word angel means messenger. A messenger can only repeat what he was told to repeat. It cannot speak its own mind. John 16, 13. When the Spirit of Truth, Angel of Truth, comes, it will guide you into all truth, for it will not speak on its own authority, but whatever it hears, it will speak. What do we mean by all truth? It will glorify Jesus. Jesus said in John 16, 14, It shall clarify me, for it shall take my message and shall cause you to know it. That is the only truth that matters. Do not worship the angel. He points to Jesus and Jesus points to the Father. Worship the Father, honor the Son, be thankful for the truth angel. When Yeshua baptizes you with the truth angel, you will enter the new covenant promised long ago, and your sins will no longer be held against you. Jeremiah 31, 33 to 34. Behold, the day is come, says El Shaddai, that I will make a new covenant. I will put my law in their inward parts, and write it in their hearts, and will be their God, and they shall be my people. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor, and every man his brother. I will forgive their iniquity, and I will remember their sins no more. Once you get this fire baptism, you don't need to go to a preacher, or a priest, or a church, or a seminary, or a Bible study. While you are sleeping, the fiery angel of truth comes down and writes God's words, God's message, God's gospel, God's laws in your heart with fire. It is this entrance into the new covenant that we moves all past and future sins. It is being in the new covenant that your sins are taken care of by El Shaddai himself. This is the entrance into God's kingdom on earth 
as an adopted beloved child. El Shaddai wants to give you this fire angel of truth, but you have to ask for it. Luke 11:11. 11, 11. If your child asks you, his father, for a fish, would you give him a snake instead? Or if your child asks you for an egg, would you give him a scorpion? Even though you're evil, you know how to give good gifts to your children. So how much more will your Father in Heaven give a saintly angel, an agios pneuma, to those who ask him? You have to ask Jesus to baptize you with the angel of truth. This is what you should say. Repeat after me if you like. Father in Heaven, please send Jesus to baptize me. Amen. This puts you into the New Covenant, and barring a complete rebellion on your part, you are guaranteed to bypass the judgment throne of Christ on the last day when Yeshua calls you from the dead. You will proceed directly to the Father's house, being transformed on the way from a mortal human into an immortal, beloved child of El Shaddai, finally born of the Spirit. You have not, because you ask not. Ask, and you shall receive.